see. Oh my God, this is gonna be a problem. <laughs> so we're keeping all these? What's up guys? Today I'm going to look at a Funko Pop collection. My buddy Greg and his daughters have been collecting for years and they're not really that much into it anymore so they decided to let go of their collection. They've got a total of 350 pops. He sent me over some pictures and videos so I have a pretty good idea of what they have but now I'm going to go over it and see it in person. Holy cow. This represents about two years of ridiculous hunting. Wow. So were you the main collector? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, your sister did a few. But we, we would go places and then we also got to the point where they, they, for a while, they probably still do it, but they have like Funko Pop pop up online shop. Okay. So like at 11 o'clock, they're going to sell whatever and you're going to hop on and buy real quick. Interesting. So a few of those are from that. Nice. So but right here, this is some more of the higher end ones. Like these are, a lot of these are chases. You can see all the chase stickers. Heffalump. Oh my gosh, yeah. that's so cool. But there's some pretty cool ones in there. This one I thought wouldn't even love. Oh, for sure she will. That's the black and white. That's shirt. awesome. She's already got, I think, like 15 Wonder really? Woman yeah, ones. There's yeah. There's two more up there. So yeah, as soon as I mentioned to her that yeah. I was maybe going to be buying these, she's like, what Wonder Woman ones do they have? <laughs> that was like the first thing she asked. So this one's kind of cool. They didn't make many of these, and this is the first one. It was a Walgreens exclusive, but it lights up. Oh, that's cool. My brother works there, so he got that for us. Nice. So did you guys keep some of them? Yeah, they kept, yeah, like kept a few, five, yeah. Think. What were your favorite ones? Um, we like the flocked ratatouille chase. Yeah. Oh, that nice. That one, and yeah. we kept Shrek. Yeah. We kept the David S. Pumpkins three pack. David S. Pumpkins. David S. Pumpkins, like the SNL, SNL thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, real cheesy. It's interesting. <laughs> it was based off, they did a skit, and it was, it was just stupid. Yeah. But it was funny. I haven't been down here in a while. Holy cow, man. Yeah, you're you're me. collecting. Is, <laughs> I think there was maybe two shelves last time I was down here. Yeah. This so is incredible. This pretty much is the collection keeper stuff. Anything over there you see that you want, let me know. Okay. <laughs> None of that's listed. That's just a garage sale overflow. Yeah. Got listed. The stuff like once I sold the big items, that's just all the gravy that the motivation to sell is like, it's, it's all paid for. Yeah. <laughs> so, Got it. But there's some cool stuff over there still. So there's 350 of these things? There's Yeah, we well, we went through and we actually found a few more. There's 356. Holy cow. And that includes mini figures and uh, the Paz and stuff. Mm -hmm. So if you take those out, there's closer to like 300-ish. Okay. So, But I want to point out a couple here that are kind of anomalies. We looked up and you know did some eBay sale comparable to make sure they're pretty close. Sure. To Most of them are pretty darn good. The only two weird ones are these top two. This gold bat girl says should be 195 and this Darth Vader at 105. They're all over the board. Some mm -hmm. of them are crazy high and some of them are crazy low. But those two were the only real anomalies. Have Probably. you caught the China ones now? So like some of them, I, oh, if yeah, you look it ones. up and if it says from China, like they're just total knockoff of the same yeah. thing and the comps are way low and it's messing up the, yeah, that could the be prices. What it might be, yeah. Because this one's a pretty old one. It's a pretty early one. It was a GameStop exclusive. I think it was 2015 even. But yeah, for a while they were they were high, then they were low, and the specific stickers seem to have a lot to do with their values too. Got it. Front. Right. So are you doing the negotiating on this deal? Yeah. 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 She's in charge of the, the money since it's her collection. She decided to move on after we didn't touch her for two years. So. Yeah. What's it gonna cost me? Um. So overall, uh, like all of them was around. Like the app says that the price of all of them would be. Seven thousand, but mm -hmm. we're thinking like since you would make profit, then like divide that by like three, right? Or not three, like I don't know. It's so, like one thousand, like seven hundred or something. Like I don't, I don't know. Yeah, right. I mean that's a good starting point. Seventeen hundred. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Is that your best price? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I'm not very good at this. <laughs> well, I think you're probably low. I think we could do better than that because I think there's a good demand for this and my buyers, I'm sure, will pay good money for it and there's plenty of profit for me to be made. So I was thinking 2500 bucks. Okay. Does that work? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're not going to argue with it? <laughs> no counter for that? Oh my gosh, right there. That's a lot of cash. Now the question is, what are you going to do with it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is awesome. Thanks, guys. It's going to be fun to go through it. I'm probably going to keep 
a decent. I, mean, I don't know. Maybe well, not a ton two, of them. Two Vados there. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I'll keep those. those. Yeah. But, uh, I can always take some spare Vados. Yeah. It's so weird. I'm sure you guys know how this is. Like, you just start getting a few of them, and then all of a sudden yeah. it's like, oh, wait, I have like 100 I of them now. And we were like, once you get to the yeah. where you're like opening up a GameStop with the person you know. You're oh, gonna wow. Play. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. We would go to like the yeah. mall like four times a week. Yeah, hunting them down. We yeah. found a lot of these chases actually in the wild, like in Hot Topic and Barnes and Nobles. Like that. Merman, that's cool. That. It's a blue one. Usually he's green, so this one's blue. Oh wow! Cool. I see you guys kept a bunch of them in the cases too. That's cool. Yeah, these are most of the the chase ones were in the cases. There's a few yeah. cases too. So are some of them considered grails? Like I hear that thrown around a lot. We never really got any of the super high dollar ones. Mm -hmm. We almost went to the Funko shop out in. Like Chicago, Portland, or, or whatever. Yeah, we we're so close, but then we thought, no, nah, it's, it's a long trip for. Yeah. Yeah. So we didn't end up going. It looks cool. Well, thanks, guys. I'll start oh, okay. boxing the rest of these up and. Yeah, it'll be fun to watch your. Load it up. Maybe we'll buy a few on your auctions. Right. <laughs> they can just come right back. Actually, yeah. I'm yeah. <laughs> Change my mind. All right, guys. I got all the Funkos back home, and you saw a handful of them, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull them all out and show you guys what all was in the collection. All right, guys, I got them all pulled out. Um, this is just one of the tables that's full. I've got them spread out throughout my kitchen and dining room, but I wanted to pull these out to kind of show you guys what all's here. I love the Weird Owl. I actually have one of the Weird Owls already. I might keep that one. A lot of Wreck-It Ralph. I know that was one of Greg's favorite movies. Quite a few Wonder Woman. I have a feeling Whitney is going to want to keep some of those. She hasn't seen these yet. She knows I bought them, but... She's about to come downstairs and uh, see these for the first time. So that'll be pretty funny to see her reaction. Got some Moana ones. This is the Merman that he pointed out. Handful of Ghostbusters. I love this one. Squints and Wendy Peppercorn. There's a couple other Sandlot ones too. Ham and the Beast. And I already have like three or four of the Sandlots, but I don't have these. So I'm almost definitely going to be keeping those. Got some more on the bench here. Quite a few Stranger Things. Got 8-bit versions, regular versions, 11, Dustin, Max. Got some superheroes. Dustin in the hockey gear, that's pretty cool. Knight Rider, Porg, Horton. Got a bunch more here on the island. A lot of Zootopia, Star Wars, some Coraline. I Love Lucy, Jurassic Park, Incredibles, Jaws. Some more Star Wars. And here is the last of them. Got the Domino's Noid. Jumanji, Bazooka Joe, some rock candy. Here's the Pez that Greg was talking about. Star-Lord Pez, that's cool. So these are actually Funko Pop Pez dispensers. I didn't even know that Funko made Pez dispensers. And then we got a lot of these Pocket Pops down here. Dumbo, Ricky Ralph, some Stranger Things, 101 Domination. Oh, here's a Bob Ross. Pocket Pop, that's pretty neat. Stanley Pez. And then in this box, we've got some plush mystery minis. We got Ghostbusters, it, uh, Shark, a bunch of them in there. Got some Disney characters. I see Elsa and Anna. There's a Frankenstein. Got some loose pops. Some Ghostbusters characters. There's Dumbledore. Stay popped. And in here, this looks like a lot of Stranger Things characters, I think. So we had been texting back and forth a little bit before I went and uh, saw the Funkos. And he had told me kind of what the value was through the Funko app. I know that might be a little bit inflated, but it kind of gives you a ballpark. So I kind of had the price in mind of about $2,500 of like what I wanted to pay for them. When she shot the number of $1,700, I was like, no, I can't just do it that cheap. Like... Greg's a good friend of mine. I want to do right by their family. So that's why I went ahead and paid the $2,500. I'm still super happy with the deal. Jill and Greg, thank you again so much for the deal on the Funko Pops. I really appreciate it. If you guys are interested in any of the Funko Pops, I'm going to be selling all of them on the Whatnot app, doing auctions for all of them starting at a dollar. I think I'm going to run a total of five auctions for all of these because there's so many of them. And the first one will be Monday, March 14th at 9 p.m. Eastern. I'll put a link down below in the description if you guys want to check it out. <laughs> Oh my god, this is crazy. Oh my god, this is gonna be a problem. <laughs>
Oh, I love the two packs. So we're keeping all these? No. <laughs> You're selling all of them. <laughs> I found some I want to keep. Yeah? I figured you would find figures. some that you want to keep. Oh my god, they have the office! Yeah, there's some cool office ones. Oh my... Oh, Tafiti! Oh, that's a pretty one. That is a really cool one. That's a really pretty one, but... I haven't started my Disney Funkos. Oh, that would just open up a whole other can it would, of worms. It would ruin yeah. everything. Zootopia! Yeah, there's some cool Zootopia ones. Oh. I really like the fox. <gasps> What's that clip? From Modern Family. I mean, yeah, they have all the Modern Family ones. That's wild. Okay, all right. Oh my god. <laughs> it goes that way too. Oh my god. That's terrifying. You need the to Demogorgon? put that <laughs> Away. This one looks actual size. Oh my! They have Topanga, Boy Meets World. Oh my gosh! Oh, did I have this? Before? I don't think you have that one. That's the Chase Black one. and White. Yeah. I don't think you have that one. So yeah, I figured oh, you'd be keeping that one at the very least. G. Oh my God, Mrs. Potts and Chip. Yeah, that one's really cool. And Darcy's about to be in Beauty and the Beast Junior. Yep. So like the fact that there's Beast and this, that's similar to one I have. Yeah, I don't know if it's the same think, one or not. <gasps> Wait. There's 174, 175, 176. So We're going to have to go visit your I shelf know. over there and see we'll what you got. pull all the Wonder Womans to see which ones I want. Right? Because I get first dibs. Oh yeah, first dibs. Oh wait, you have Beauty and you have Belle and the Beast. And Cogsworth. And You've got to put Paz. them together. Oh yeah, for sure. They I was just doing apart. the initial, like, you know, pulling them out to see no, what else here. You can't just put them apart. Though. There's Snow White and all the dwarves. All of them? All One, the dwarves? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. seven. Yeah. Holy crap. I'm I'm amazed. I'm impressed with Greg and Jill. Yeah, they amassed quite the collection. This. By the way, guys, we got a new dog. This is Luna. They don't know about Luna? No, they haven't met Luna yet. Oh my God. She's great. She's an awesome dog. Aren't you, Luna? Oh, my God. This Gross. makes me want to keep everything of Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> Just have a whole thing rose. dedicated to it. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't slow mo my face during that. Is this one valuable? I don't know. I haven't looked any of these up yet. He showed me some values on the app, but I haven't looked any of them up. I don't even care that it's Funko. It's just cool. Yeah. All right. Add it to the collection. <laughs> That is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.